Welcome back, my dear friends, Lord Universe, to another episode of Top 5 Fallout 4 Mods, the show where I sad showcase the mods I find to be of the highest quality that has been released the last week or so, or since the last episode was released. And me and Elizabeth here have finally figured out the criteria for how a mod ends up on this show, and the list goes like this. Ambitious. Cool. A good idea. And, um, that's about it. Hey, not everything in life has to be complicated, right? Sometimes we just have to sit back and enjoy the well-made things of others. Ah, a bit like you're doing watching this show right now. Hit the intro! First off, I'd like to say that Elizabeth and I had the idea that she should get a new haircut that would be a little bit more fitting to her feisty persona. Well, you left me bloody naked on the roof in the land of last episode, so I better get some compensation for that. Well, Elizabeth, you are welcome. Even though I still have a feeling that you want to kill me for that. I do. I knew it. Let's leave her muted for the rest of the episode. I think I should get a real female voice for her one day as well. If you know a female person, or if you are a female person that wants to voice Elizabeth from time to time and have time to do so, then hit me up with you. Enough with the silliness and off with the first mod of today's episode. On spot number 5, we have the R91 standalone assault rifle by FF7 Cloud Strife. And the main reason I wanted to showcase this mod is that it's just refreshing seeing people trying to do normal, real-life inspired weapons once in a while. I am a fan of World War history and a fan of military stuff in general, mostly because that shit looks cool and packs a punch, not necessarily for what it's used. Sometimes it's just hard to explain why you like things even though you might not support their uses. I feel like a hypocrite. This gun comes with two variations, one that fires 556 bullets and one that fires 0.308 bullets. I'm not entirely sure how that's pronounced, if I'm gonna be totally honest. You're more than welcome to uh, inform me in the comments below, if you'd like. If you feel like you miss out on assault rifles in the game and want a new one, then definitely check this one out. I get a feeling that this weapon will have updates in the future as well, if you don't like it now, then maybe check back for it in the future as well. And one thing that I've noticed while making this footage is that the bullets seem to go the direction that it, your camera is facing. It doesn't seem to happen with every weapon though. It looks pretty derpy, but should not be something that you will be affected by if you're not making stupid videos like I am. Next up, we have the color map 4K with location by Virus Said, And this mod changes up your map not only graphically, but with tons of information about where you can build settlements, find power armors, bobbleheads, and more. I guess some could find this map a sheet map, really. Uh, I'm lazy, so I would just call it a personal assistance map putting it like that sounds like I'm retarded but I'm not just lazy from time to time might be a slight collaboration between the two somewhere arguments can be made for that in the comments below mm -hmm. but however if you feel like adding icons on your map is not a thing for you you can just use the version without the spoils Mm -hmm. I like this map and I'm probably gonna continue using it even though it's pretty unimmersive and unlore friendly. Hashtag making up words since 2016. Is it non-lore friendly? Lore hostile? <laughs> I, I, I don't have a clue. You can use this map with the standard Pip-Boy effect on or off. Just add or delete the text on the screen right now to your Fallout 4 ini file. And yeah. Good go. And since I've discovered some sort of grassophilia thing in myself since starting this show, next up we have yet another grass mod. It's the New Landscape Grass by Cipriano, which is a mod that replaces the grass in-game with the pre-war grass. And the more I use green grass and mods that adds more green to the game, the more I like it. Fallout 4 overall feels the least fallouty of any of the Fallout games I've played, so changing it up some more might just be fitting. At least from my side. The only downside I've seen with this mod is that it messes up the textures in some areas on the ground, which at the moment is a big negative for me. Probably gonna use it anyhow, but if the mod author or someone else fixes this, I'd say this mod is sweet as candy. Next up, we have one of my personal favorites so far. 
which is so freakishly ambitious and fun to do in my opinion. And it's the quest prelude to Vault 273 by DD Productions 83. And the feat to actually make somewhat of a quest mod in the game, even before the creation kit is released, is just ambition level over 9000. This mod adds two new weapons to the game. The Mire Man, which use Mire Lurk babies, so you can have that Mire Lurk baby army that you always dreamed about. And if you have not, then you should dream about it, because it's freaking awesome, and I love it, and you should too. The Marksman's Mr. Light Boom Boom is a weapon that shoots the most badass explosive rounds ever shot by a sniper rifle. And all the different explosive effects, except the mini nuke effect, are added to where you hit, which makes the point of impact look freaking insane. It's now one of my favorite weapons that I use at the moment. It also adds a new grenade to the game, which is a shield generator. Throw this bad boy out and you have a shield for some time. It will not break if enough damage is dealt to it, and once thrown out, you can actually turn it on or off. Either way, this sort of makes you feel like a shielded trooper from Star Wars. Or maybe not. But if you have enough imagination, you might. It adds two new modifications as well, one to the Ripper, which makes it look effing horrifying, and getting killed by that it would probably be somewhere in the top 10 of the most horrible things I could come up with that I don't want to be killed by if I ever had to choose. There is just something about taking dolls, or bears, or anything that's supposed to be friendly and cute, and making that dangerous as f- <laughs> that just makes it unbearingly scary to me. And the other modification is the Zeus modification to the Gauss Rifle. The modification makes you feel like you're the god Zeus that's dealing out his vengeance upon the wasteland and sometimes himself. Yes, you can actually get damaged if you use this one. Mostly I seem to cripple my legs for some reason when I use it. It's a downside, but a downside I can live with because it's so damn powerful and sweet looking that if you don't want to have this weapon, you should probably have both your eyes and mind. Look at This mod also adds 10 audio logs, the first one being located in the cellar behind one of the blue houses in Sanctuary. These audio logs all hold clues towards the next audio log and by almost every audio log there is either a weapon or a custom teddy bear. All the teddy bears gives you custom made buffs and they also look on a badass scale from 1 to 10 about 24. This quest mod is not an official quest and will not award experience or generate a quest in your pip boy but that makes it all so much more fun to look for the next audio log, since there is a challenge to it. I really recommend taking your time and trying to figure out where the next audio log is for yourself, but nice as I am, sometimes at least, for the ones who have trouble finding all the logs or simply are too lazy to think for themselves, I do have all the locations in the bottom of the description of this video. Almost all the logs are in the back of every area that you visit, but exactly where they are is a part that I will leave to you. Don't worry though, I had no trouble finding these once at the right location, so you should not either. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> this mod is just a hint of what is to come in the future once the creation kit is released, and if even a fraction of them are as fun and ambitious as this one, it's going to be a fun future ahead. Exploring all these locations that I've never been at before, but now have explored thoroughly thanks to this mod was a blast, and I recommend all who have at least a small detective bone in their body to try it out. It's worth it every day of the week. And last but not least, we have a very sexy armor mod, which is also one of my favorite mods so far. Two favorites in one episode. Oh my god! It's the Kerrigan bodysuit by Guffy, Flasher, Vastek. These guys have all come together to create an excellent bodysuit that, while not being the most lore friendly, looks amazing. I did play around with all of these colors and variations, and if you just use your imagination, you can probably convince yourself that this is lore friendly. I do. At least. And I think Elizabeth looks amazeballs. I did try to find a good hairstyle to make Elizabeth look as much as Kerrigan, pre certification but none of them really fits too well. This one at least made her look somewhere in between. 
There is a white version and a black version of the suit with tons of different colors. Both the black and white version's colors then have different lights that you can choose as well, resulting in a ton of options to customize the suit to look exactly like you want it. I think this is also just a hint of all the excellent mods to come in the near future. It's looking bright, you guys! Very bright. Almost blinding. Now I think it's time for another skit. Very sorry. There will be no other skit. Elizabeth have explicitly said no more making fun of her. I'm trying to be funny overall. She'll eat my testicles. And I like my testicles. They'll probably be of use one day. She really hates it though. So no more skidding, sketching, performing, or acting. Elizabeth thinks I suck at it either way, so... Not worth it, I guess. Wait. Is this the skit? It might be. It sure feels like it. I'm not acting like myself. I'm trying to be somewhat comedic. I have scripted this beforehand. <gasps> well. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and until next time, you beautiful thing. Bye.